Welcome to South Central Region Libraries Safe Inside Your Walls programming supported by Safe at Home Manitoba. My name is Kathy Ching and I am the director of South Central Region Library and I would like to introduce you to my friend Lori. She's chef, amazing person and she is going to tell you about what we can pair with the great soup she just made. Thank you Kathy. Thank you everyone for being here today. It's such a pleasure to be working with this grant and to share my experiences and love and passion for cooking. I've been a chef for all, almost 40 years now, and there's all sorts of fun things and experiences and people I've met along the way. We had just made a beautiful uh, loaded potato soup, and now I'd like to show you how to make some old-fashioned baking powder biscuits, but I like to amp them up a little bit and call them my herb ones. So what we're gonna start with is two cups of flour. White flour is what I use, but sometimes I'll do half and half, half whole wheat and half white, whatever you prefer. Also rye flour, some people like that. So I've got two cups of flour. I've got one teaspoon of salt. I've got one tablespoon of baking powder. And I've got two teaspoons of white sugar. So I mix that all together. Then you take seven tablespoons of cold, not hard, but cold butter, and you kind of cube that and put that in. Then I take off my rings, as I've done now, and I put it all in there and I mix it together. And you just have to kind of just rub it like this, right? And then you're going to get sort of like a pea-sized sort of uh, crumble. So I can just show you like this. You can see that the butter's in there and mixing nicely. Of course, you can use this uh, a blender or whatever, but I like to get right in there with my hands and it's all part in the joy of cooking. I think somebody used that once. <laughs> Anyways, so then we just kind of break that all up, like I said, about like little pea size type of thing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take whatever herbs you want to use. So what I've got here today, I want to use rosemary. I just love rosemary. I like it fresh. I like it dried. I just think it's a wonderful spice and herb. And this will go really nice with our soup. So we'll take about, I would say about, all together if you want to add, add it all up, is probably about one to two tablespoons of chopped herbs. So I've got right here a good teaspoon of them and I'm just gonna chop it up a little more because this is dry and we just want that not to be too big. So now just nicely just chop it and then right beside it, I've got some fresh dill. So we'll just put that in there. There we go. And then we've got some lovely green onions that I, that I just cut on a slant because it, re it releases the flavor better if you cut it like that. And it actually looks nicer too, I think. So we've got some of that, then some parsley. So I just grab a sprinkle or a pinch as they say, maybe two of them, okay? And then some thyme again, thyme is lovely. So I would do maybe about a quarter of a teaspoon, quarter of a teaspoon should do. Then we're going to take our spoon, <laughs> and we're just gonna blend that together like so. Just mix those herbs like right nicely in there. I think we'll just finish this up with the, the dill. We'll just mix that up. Now I think we're there. And then we're gonna take three quarters of a cup of milk. Okay, so there we go. And that's a half a cup plus one quarter is so good. We'll just mix that up nicely. And you just want to mix this till it all sticks together. Don't want to over mix it, it'll dry your biscuits out. Now, this is a time when possibly the cheese might be a nice addition. It'll just give it a lot of flavor. So I happen to have some smoked cheese and I have about, mm, there is maybe about an eighth of a cup here, but I'm just gonna shred it nicely. It's a really lovely cheese. 
comes from Wales, actually. Very flavorful. So once shredded, it's about maybe, maybe um, one third, just over one third of a cup, I would say. It's got lots of flavor. Okay, it's looking, the biscuit mix is looking a little dry, so we need to add some more moisture, so we'll put a bit more of our milk in. This is about another, uh, maybe one quarter of a cup. We'll just mix that nicely in. Now that came together lovely. It just needed that extra. So some, it's always best to start with the three quarter and then you can always add a little bit, but you can't take it out and it might be too mucky. So I just find that sometimes too, some of the herbs will absorb some of the moisture we put in. So now what we're gonna do, just a little trick of the tray. A lot of times they tell you to put sprinkle flour and this and that. When you can just use a little bit of the baking spray, just spray it on your counter. Take your biscuit mix, pour it out if you like. And then I like to knead it a few times now. Not overwork it, just a couple of times so everything kind of gathers together. And then, I, instead of using a rolling pin, I just do like a circle, press it down, use your hands like just to press it down like so, till about close to an inch or so. Then we need to take our cookie or biscuit cutter or cookie cutter, or whatever, whatever shape you want to do. If it can be a seasonal, if you want to have a heart for Valentine's or Santa Claus or Christmas, I'm just using a circle. So then we just do that and it's same as size. This is a fairly good size biscuit because this is going to be for dinner or lunch. But sometimes you can just make the small ones too if the kids, if that's too much of a biscuit. This generally will make about 12 biscuits, about a dozen. Then I just pull this away. Again, we're going to take our baking sheet and we're just going to spray it. You can use parchment paper if you prefer and not use the spray. But I just like to spray it liberally. Then I put it on there. And then you can just redo again your circle, press it down, and there we go. We've got our biscuits, and I like, I've preheated the oven, so we put, I put it at 355, and then we'll bake it for anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes. Usually I find 17 minutes is the secret number. For some reason, 17 minutes is the one. So now we've used it, and whenever there's a little bit of dough left over, I just kind of make and form my own little biscuit. It's my sample that I take up. So now we'll just take this over, and we'll put it in our oven. I can jump in there. <laughs> and now we've got it. So in 17 minutes, we'll have beautiful biscuits. Okay, so for an addition to our biscuit, and just a nice touch, and even in the, in the look of it, the appeal, and most certainly the flavor and taste. So what I do is I take, I roast some garlic myself, and then I dry it out, then I grind it up, and I just simply add a bit of parsley as well. So now I let that sit so it's completely dry. Sometimes I'll let it sit out for like a day, or a day and a half, or two days, and then I grind it in my little food, I have a mini food processor. So I've got, I don't, I've probably got two tablespoons here. So I'm going to take some of that and I'm going to put it into a measuring cup with my butter. Excuse me, I'll just get my butter. <laughs> Butter's better. And then we're going to add about a half a cup of butter. No, I'm sorry, a quarter cup of butter. Quarter cup of butter, I meant. And we're going to melt that in the microwave. So we'll just go over here to the microwave for a second. We'll melt that in for 40 seconds. We're going to melt that and then we're going to mix in these spices. And when those biscuits come out, we're going to just glaze them nicely and let it set. They look really nice. They kind of get a little shine or sheen to it. But the flavors are just so lovely. They're wonderful with our soup. All right, we're back. And our biscuits are all baked up and ready to go. And at, we melted the butter in the microwave and I added my roasted black garlic powder that I had talked to you about. And now I'm just gonna take a brush 
and brush this on. Just gives it that nice sheen and glaze kind of. It's just like when you make bread, right? You always put that bit of butter at, after you've taken it out to, to, to just give that extra flavor and the sheen and shine and it kind of seals in all the flavors and juices and as I said, who doesn't want butter? <laughs> Maybe some, but I love butter and most chefs do. <laughs> They, we, it's the base of many things. So now I'm just gonna let that sit for a few minutes and sort of, I wouldn't say dry, but soak in and then we're ready to go and we'll show you our end product. And here we've got our completed product. We've got our loaded potato soup and I've put I garnished it with some green onion and some nice cheddar cheese. And here's our biscuit. And you can see the little bit of shine, everything's sunk in our delicious herbs in there. And there's, remember, a little bit of smoked cheese as a surprise. Thanks again for joining us. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay together, and cook at home. Bye for now. This is Chef Lori saying goodbye. Thank you for joining us for this Safe at Home Manitoba production. Stay safe inside your walls.